Hey guys, Lord Naren White here, the Holy Ghost, the one true God. Back with you with the next video in my Daily Diary series. As usual, before I discuss what I have achieved since yesterday's Daily Diary video, I want to read you a chapter from the Bible. Today it will be the book of Job, chapter 22. Then Eliphaz the Temanite answered and said, Can a man be profitable unto God? as he that is wise may be profitable unto himself? Is it any pleasure to the Almighty that thou art righteous, or is it gain to him that thou makest thy ways perfect? Will he reprove thee for fear of thee? Will he enter with thee into judgment? Is not thy wickedness great and thine iniquities infinite? For thou hast taken a pledge from thy brother for naught, and stripped the naked of their clothing. Thou hast not given water to the weary to drink, and thou hast withholden bread from the hungry. But as for the mighty man, he had the earth, and the honorable man dwelt in it. Thou hast sent widows away empty, and the arms of the fatherless have been broken. Therefore snares are round about thee, and sudden fear troubleth thee. Or darkness that thou canst not see, and abundance of waters cover thee. Is not God in the height of heaven? And behold the height of the stars, how high they are. And thou sayest, How doth God know? Can he judge through the dark cloud? Thick clouds are covering to him, that he seeth not, and he walketh in the circuit of heaven. Hast thou marked the old way which wicked men have trodden, which were cut down out of time, whose foundation was overflowed with the flood, which said unto God, Depart from us, and what can the Almighty do for them? Yet he filled their houses with good things, but the counsel of the wicked is far from me. The righteous see it and are glad, and the innocent laugh at them to scorn. Whereas our substance is not cut down, but the remnant of them the fire consumeth. Acquaint now thyself with him, and be at peace. Thereby good shall come unto thee. Receive, I pray thee, the law from his mouth, and lay up his words in thine heart. If thou return to the Almighty, thou shalt be built up. Thou shalt put away iniquity far from thy tabernacles. Then shalt thou lay up gold as dust, and the gold of Ophir as the stones of brooks. Yea, the Almighty shall be thy defense, and thou shalt have plenty of silver. For then shalt thou have delight in thy, in thy Almighty, and shalt lift up thy face unto God. Thou shalt make thy prayer unto him, and he shall hear thee, and thou shalt pay thy vow vows. Thou shalt also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee, and the light shall shine upon thy ways. When men are cast down, then thou shalt say, There is lifting up, and he shall save the humble person. He shall deliver the island of the innocent and is delivered by the pureness of thine hands. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So basically one of the, um, you know, one of the, the lessons of, of this chapter is, is not lessons, but it's, it says Eliphaz basically saying, essentially my understanding is he's still saying that Job is the one responsible for his condition because of his sins. You see here, he it says in Job, 22.5, is not thy wickedness great and thine iniquities infinite? So that idea being that, um, you know, Job is, you know, that, that this is still because of Job's iniquities that this is happening. And actually that's not true. It's actually Job, God himself, Jehovah himself, views Job as, um, a, as perfect in terms of first he fears God and second he eschews evil. So that's, um, that's uh, is actually uh, really important really really beautiful stuff and so now um with that actually i want to go ahead now and transition over to what i have achieved since yesterday's daily diary video since yesterday's daily diary video i worked out my core i uploaded and scheduled five workout videos i uploaded and scheduled many different video game videos and i've created this daily diary video for 5 8 23. with the remaining time in this video i want to go ahead and discuss um some of the stuff that um, i have been um um, been working on recently in life so if you know me um, or you see my channel I 
uh, the skill set that I have chosen to work in my life as, as a software developer. And recently, one of the, um, the requirements for my job was the passing of a, I would say, rel relatively quite difficult exam. It, um, it's the, it was called, it's the CompTIA Security Plus exam. And um, I remember I got um, the news of, that I would be required to pass this exam in order to essentially keep my job. Um, it was not those exact words, um, but the understanding was that, like not because it was not about adding additional pressure, it was about look like, like basically like I needed this certification to continue the job. And if you don't have the certification, you know, you can you can figure out the rest. They didn't explicitly say that to me, but obviously like if I need the certification to continue working within the you know the environment, then well, you know, I needed the certification. And so that's why I looked at it and I said to myself, like, I, I remember um, when I, I heard about that of the requirement for this around like May um, May uh, 6th or 7th or something oh, excuse me March excuse me March 6th or 7th so I believe I heard about it on um, I think March 6th maybe or maybe March 3rd I don't know but I remember I started studying for the exam on March 8th it was a, a Wednesday I believe or March 7th a Tuesday and um, I, I have the exact date somewhat written down um, either way I started studying immediately for it and I'll discuss more about that um, in time um, the idea was um, after two and a half months of study on May 19th, I ended up sitting the exam and passing the exam. And all glory be to God, the Father and Son. And I, I want to go ahead and, and say that this was something for me that was very miraculous in my life. Not because the act of passing an exam is in and of itself a miracle like my divine shield or my omnipresence. But because of the fact that I wanted to sit the exam at a Pearson View Center because it's a lot quieter and better of an environment, I felt, to sit an exam than in my room. And basically, so, there, I remember there are three locations here on the island of Oahu where Honolulu is located, and that I could have sat the exam, and all of them were booked, like, completely, for months and months and months. In fact, there was not even one slot available. Not one slot was available. And I checked many times, maybe like five, six, seven, eight times, I don't know. But I checked many times, and not one slot was available at any of the centers. And so I said to myself, just keep studying, because there's also an option to sit the exam from your, my actual machine here, and you know, have some, like, sit it locally here. Of course, I didn't want to for many reasons. Like, for example, if my internet goes out, I'm liable for that. But if you go to the Pearson View Center, they're liable. So that's like one of the ways, like, you'll probably get like a free retake. Either way, I, um, I, I don't know if that's actually technically true, but that's what I thought, you know, so. Either way, I, I was just like, man, like I really want to sit it there. And I was praying to God in terms of, you know, please help me to pass the exam. You know, ask and you shall receive, right? So I was I worked very hard. I have, you know, first memorized vocab words. I read a, a 500, 600 page book. I, you know, I wrote notes from that book. In addition to that, I also sat many practice exams. And then I sat actually, I think 31 practice exams. Um, maybe, maybe even more questions actually, around almost 2000 practice questions. And then I went and sat the real exam. And um, ultimately, on the day before I went to sit the exam on the 18th, I was thinking to myself, I'm almost ready to sit this exam, you know, like, because I was starting my preparation was coming, you know, com it was, it was, you know, was, you know, reaching a stage where I was ready to sit the exam. And so I went back to the Pearson, the, the site again, the CompTIA site to register for the exam. I said, okay, let me see if there's an available spot. There was. There was a spot the very next day, on the 19th at 9 a.m. at one of the Pearson View Testing Centers here at, I believe it was Honolulu Community College. There was one spot and I signed up for it. And so God, that's why I looked at it like it was somewhat miraculous to me because I looked for months for an, op like an opportunity, but it was just completely booked. And then all of a sudden there was a spot the next day. And I felt that that spot had opened up for me. And so I selected the spot and went and sat the exam. And by the grace of God, he enabled me to sit and take the exam and pass. And all glory be to God for helping me to take the exam and pass. And I'm grateful because taking that exam and passing was required for my job. And that's why I look at it and I say that, um, you know, this was a, this was a miracle, not, not necessarily, I won't necessarily call it a miracle. It was miraculous for me because of how that spot opened up for me when it felt like it, you know, I would not get a spot. 
And um, that is something that I felt that God did for me. And then um, he, enabled, he empowered me to pass the exam. And I actually barely passed. But I did, I won't say I barely passed. But I, it, it's not like, I, uh, it's not like, it was easy, you know, it was not easy, uh, though I did pass, and I, I won't say I barely passed because I worked very hard. I actually really felt like confident in my knowledge, but you can never know on an exam day whether you'll reach the passing score, but I did, and um, all glory be to God, because, you know, I felt I had, I felt I knew the material, you know, I really had studied very hard, and, and, and to God be the glory for helping me to pass. And this one, this is a story that I want to relate to. Lord Jesus Christ says, um, he says, I want to get the exact Bible verse. Here, um, in Matthew 17, I want to read this verse to you because this is, this is how I feel my faith is becoming stronger. Because the whole time I, I was studying for this exam, you know, no matter how difficult, you know, pushing through all adversity, no matter how difficult it got, look at this verse here that Jesus says. He says, the, so, excuse me here, the, the, the disciples, remember, they can't cast out uh, one of the devils from, from somebody. So there's a man that the disciples could not cast out, and they could not cure him. Okay, and Jesus rebukes the devil. So now we'll read. So remember, they couldn't cure the disciples, and Jesus does. So now we'll read Matthew 17, 19, and on. It reads, Then came the disciples to Jesus apart and said, Why could not we cast him out? And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief. For verily I say unto you, If ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Remember also when Jesus takes Peter out on the water. You know, he helps Peter on the water. What happens is, Peter starts to sink. And Jesus and Peter says, Say, Lord, save him. And, and, and Jesus tells Peter that he, he's, his faith needs to be stronger. And this is, this is what I end up thinking, is this scripture about the mountain. That God tells me, look, Nair, look at that exam and, and, and believe your past. Do all the work, have all the faith in God, Give the glory to God and you'll pass the exam. And this was my Matthew 17, 20 moment, passing this exam, because it was very difficult and ultimately to God be the glory. And um, with that, I wanna go ahead and say thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment and subscribe as it greatly helps the channel. Like to be with you all, take care and thanks again.